Okay. Seems everything works fine. I can hear my myself and I can see that people are already joining. Uh, welcome everyone. I'm Andrew Trappin. Today we talk about Emacs and managing emails with it. First of all, I will give a brief introduction about how uh, electronic mails involved, how they uh, grew to the current state. Uh, and after that, we will do some practice with uh, Emacs, not much, MB Sync, and few other utilities. Uh, okay, let's start with history. First of all, what email is? It's basically a file, consists of two parts, uh, header and body. Header is just uh, something that contains keys and values. By the way, let me know if you hear me well, because I'm not sure if it works correctly. One second. Okay. It seems works. Uh, let's get back to the emails. It's basically a file with two parts. Uh, and uh, f f first part is headers, and it's basically key values pairs, which uh, contain some meta information about uh, the message, like uh, the one who sent it, to whom uh, it was sent, uh, and few other things, like in reply to header, which uh, allows to mm, make threads uh, using those uh, this email infrastructure. And uh, previously uh, emails was distributed inside a local network or even on uh, one computer. For example, it was uh, one big mainframe uh, with many users. Uh, every uh, user has its own terminal and uh, there was a program uh, called MDA and user co uh, could uh, send an email uh, to MDA uh, and it will be delivered directly to the folder of another user. Uh, it allowed uh, for users to interact with each other uh, using uh, this big uh, computer without network. And uh, after that uh, email system grew and uh, much more uh, parts of it appeared and uh, for example here in my uh, notes you can see a lot of abbreviations and uh, MDA at the end of it uh, because uh, it's the last step of mail delivery and at the beginning it was only one step of delivering process but later uh, when network appeared uh, first of all, it was local array network, later it uh, became a global network uh, and uh, much more intermediate applications which delivers mails appeared. Uh, and let's uh, discuss all of them. F first, uh, not all of them, but most of them. First one is uh, mail user application or agent, uh, which allows user to write uh, to actually write email, uh, add some uh, attachments and do some other stuff. After that, uh, this application uh, can interact with message submission uh, agent, uh, which can be uh, a part of MUA or maybe a part of MTA. MTA is a message transfer agent. Uh, in most cases, it's SMTP server. And uh, MSA, uh, can be part of uh, this uh, SMTP server or can be uh, a local application. It depends on your setup. Uh, and after that, MTA uh, can interact with um, another MTA to deliver message from one server to another. In most cases, uh, you can think uh, about MTA as email provider or email uh, server 
and uh, another MTA is a uh, target server which uh, will get the email from user. Uh, first of all, you compose your email in user agent, uh, send it to MTA, uh, this MTA send it to another MTA, and after that user can read it directly on the server, or it can uh, obtain it using a uh, message uh, receiving agent or something like that. And after that, uh, message receiving agent will uh, move, uh, will pass those emails to MDA, which will uh, place all the emails on local computer of the user. But as I said, it's uh, optional. Uh, in some cases, uh, messages delivered to MTA can be stored on the MTA using another MDA and a uh, user can directly access them via web interface or some other way. Hello, Prashant Tak. Uh, that's pretty much uh, all parts involved in this process. As you can see, it's uh, quite distributed and can be very complicated, but uh, most important parts, it's your host, uh, remote server uh, of your email provider in most cases, uh, remote server of a uh, recipient uh, email provider and uh, mail user agent of uh, the recipient. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it uh, that you need uh, to know about emails. Uh, after that, uh, we can say that there are a few protocols for uh, transmitting emails and for receiving emails. SMTP is a kind of um, pushing protocol. Uh, it uh, used uh, for sending emails. Uh, for example, a mail user agent can uh, send via SMTP protocol uh, a file to MTA and MTA can send uh, to another MTA also using SMTP protocol uh, and so on. And after that, a uh, user can uh, use POP or IMAP protocol uh, to get uh, his emails from one of uh, email servers. And uh, some pictures uh, to demonstrate what happens here. It's appeared on a different screen, but it's okay. Uh, here uh, we have message uh, user agent uh, for Alice, which uses SMTP uh, to send email to SMTP server. This SMTP server's, uh, server uh, has its own uh, domain and a message sent by this domain, not by uh, two header, uh, because two he header actually points to the uh, remote email server, server and we don't send to remote server. We send to our email provider and our email provider goes uh, to DNS server, obtain the IP address for uh, target uh, MX server, uh, mail exchange server. And uh, after that, your uh, email provider sends the email to the remote server using SMTP uh, again. And after that, uh, the recipient can obtain those emails using POP protocol or IMAP protocol. Uh, POP protocol is a little simpler and older. And in most cases, it removes emails when uh, they, they fetched IMAP more complex and advanced. Uh, it allows to uh, simultaneously uh, use the same mailbox, remote mailbox from few different devices. And it also allows not to uh, fetch all, all the emails and to make remote searches and so on. Uh, but in our setup, we will just uh, be using IMAP to get all the emails as you can do with POP, for example. Okay, uh, that's... Um, that's pretty much it about the history of emails. Another picture, very similar, but uh, it involves uh, the parts I mentioned uh, previously. User agent, uh, submission agent, transmission agent, 
uh, exchanger, MDA and recipient. That's how your mails going from you to, to the recipient of the email. Cool. Let's uh, get our hands dirty and do something with emails. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the tools that we will be using. First of all, we will be using uh, two utilities for synchronizing our emails. Uh, first one uses IMAP protocol and it allows to fetch your remote, uh, the mailbox from a remote server to a local machine. And another one allows to uh, fetch public inbox. Uh, it's uh, email archive uh, format uh, stored uh, in Git repository, which allows to obtain mailing lists using uh, some uh, using different protocols, including uh, uh, Git uh, protocol, which allows to just uh, clone another repository and uh, get all emails uh, locally. And L2MD allows to uh, use such uh, mailing list mirrors, uh, but save them in uh, not only as uh, a Git repository, but also as uh, mail dir, which uh, the format recognized by many uh, mail user agents, uh, which allows to navigate through the emails, not as uh, files, but as uh, actually emails in a handy format. Not much. We will be using uh, both uh, terminal utility and not much interface inside Emacs uh, for tagging emails uh, and processing them. And after that, uh, we will use MBSync uh, again for uh, updating our mailboxes uh, and synchronize them with remote uh, mailbox. But also we will be using uh, Emacs for sending email with built-in SMTP client. Uh, for example, we could use a uh, different SMTP client, but we will be using uh, built-in in Emacs. Okay, uh, how we obtain our emails with some utility. Uh, let's take example, uh, let's take a look at uh, MBSync uh, configurations. Uh, here we will open uh, .config slash async uh, mbsync rc. And here you can see um, the full configuration for mbsync uh, that I have. Uh, you can read uh, the manual, oops, too much, I think. Uh, let's place it somewhere in the middle. Uh, you can read the uh, about the for about format of uh, this configuration file in uh, manual f of uh, I think, uh, but uh, I will explain basics of it. First of all, we set some global uh, values, uh, and uh, after that we set our first account, uh, which interacts with IMAP server Gmail uh, with IMAP with IMAP server of Gmail and uh, I provide a user and password uh, using passcmd not to expose my uh, password to this plain text file and using uh, encryption for doing it. After that uh, I said that I have a remote uh, store where mailbox uh, where my remote uh, uh, mailbox uh, is uh, located. And uh, after that, I say uh, that I have a local store uh, and say uh, that path to the store will be following. Uh, and uh, after that, I define a mapping between remote folders and local fol folders. A remote folder called inbox will become uh, inbox uh, on uh, my uh, local PC and uh, remote directory Gmail sent mail will become sent uh, on my local uh, file system and so on. After I defined all the mappings, uh, I can group them uh, into group and uh, it's needed uh, to make it easier to call synchronization utility. Instead of calling uh, synchronization utility for all these channels, I can 
just call it for uh, only one group. Uh, let's see how it can be done. Uh, we have MB sync utility and we provide uh, work drafts, for example. And as you can see, something uh, happens here. Uh, to make more information about the process, we can add an argument which may uh, will make output more verbose. And you can see that uh, it tries to uh, get emails from remote uh, mailbox and place them uh, inside local directory. And uh, it's how we obtain emails. I won't be fetching all my emails uh, right now uh, because it can take some time, uh, but I think the uh, basic print uh, principle uh, of uh, fetching remote emails is clear right now. And here I have the same, almost the same configuration, but my uh, for my personal uh, mailbox. And uh, for now, we have all our emails stored in a local ma mail directory. And we can see that there are two separate di directories and we can take a look uh, at them. Uh, and the content will be uh, not very uh, interesting for us because it looks uh, like that. Just a bunch of different files. We can take a look at them, but it's basically a raw emails, uh, just a plain text. Uh, and here in the name, uh, the important part here is uh, our ID. Uh, for example, uh, this one used by Embassync to keep track of uh, all the emails that uh, are uh, synchronized, synchronized for this inbox. And uh, after that, we have a uh, few more symbols like R, S, uh, and some others, which is uh, basic flags like uh, red, uh, unread, uh, flagged, and some others. Just few flags that supported by uh, IMAP protocol. And uh, that's basically it. Now we have uh, all our emails locally uh, and let's uh, take a look at uh, them using uh, better interface and before doing uh, that we need uh, to initialize our database uh, we do it with uh, not much new and after uh, I type this command not much will index all the emails downloaded by mbsync and uh, now we can take a look uh, at the content of those emails. Uh, I won't be doing it because I have uh, some hooks uh, attached to this command, which uh, will take some time to process. Uh, and I already did it before the stream. Uh, but uh, to uh, show you the configuration of my not much, uh, I will open not much default config file. And uh, it's very simple. Uh, it contains my full name, primary and secondary emails, uh, passed to email da database, and a uh, few more settings. For example, uh, every search uh, I will be using uh, will be excluding uh, trash and spam uh, tags, not to uh, bother me with uh, those emails, and uh, also all new emails which uh, was uh, fetched recently uh, on the last uh, update uh, will be tagged as new emails. Why we need it? Uh, I will explain in just a few seconds. Also, we have hooks here. And uh, first of all, let's take a look at pre new hook. Oh, actually, it's not very readable. Hmm. Okay, uh, I will open it uh, in a different uh, format. Right here, we have uh, all the hooks. You can just write them uh, in the uh, plain file, make it in executable, uh, and uh, it will work uh, too. Uh, what, what I do here, 
I just mark every uh, file in the uh, inbox folder uh, with uh, tag inbox and uh, so on for drafts and uh, trash, spam uh, and other directories. Uh, you can see that uh, a role for lists looks a little different because I use uh, L2MD to synchronize my uh, mailing list that I'm interested in. Uh, I don't subscribe to mailing list, not to pollute my inbox uh, and not to process uh, them. Uh, even automatically, it uh, I, I don't see reasons to do it. I just play, uh, I just manage them uh, separately, download them uh, to my local folder and process them from here. Uh, and also I have a uh, few tricks. Uh, first trick is uh, to make emails that sent uh, to myself uh, by me. You can see that uh, if search equal to inbox and send, that means I sent this email to myself, uh, then make this email as to do and remove inbox and send flex. Good. Also, uh, if uh, email has tag inbox but not in the inbox directory, remove the inbox uh, tag. Uh, it is done in case uh, on remote server I moved uh, in uh, email from inbox directory to trash or some other directories uh, and it's not uh, in my inbox directory anymore, uh, it will update tags automatically according to those rules. And after uh, all emails processed, uh, I uh, mark all uh, recent emails. I remove new tag for all recent emails. Uh, but if I wanted to distinguish uh, some of emails here uh, as recently obtained by last uh, synchronization comment, I could use uh, additional search parameter as tag new. Uh, but uh, I don't do it here, but in future I uh, probably will do some tricks with it. Uh, good, uh, now uh, we need to take a look at post uh, new hook. Actually, if you have any questions, uh, let's discuss them. Just type them in the chat uh, and I will try to answer them. Another uh, hook is post new hook, which uh, will happen after mm, not much uh, index all the emails and uh, process uh, everything that came from embassing or other uh, sources. Uh, and uh, here uh, you can see Oh, actually, uh, actually, uh, it was uh, post uh, new hooks. Uh, now we will take uh, a look at pre new hooks. Uh, those rules will be applied after uh, we updated the index of our database, after we uh, get all the, all the new emails from Embassing. And now uh, we will discuss what I do in pre new hook. Pre new hook uh, is quite uh, complex, and what I basically do, uh, I make all the uh, files. Uh, not not much actually uh, can't uh, manage uh, the directory of uh, the file. It can only manage uh, tags in its own database. It doesn't touch uh, mails uh, directly. And that is why uh, to keep synchronization between different devices, uh, I decided to, uh, before synchronizing emails, uh, to uh, update the location based on the text. And here uh, you can see very complex, not very complex, but uh, quite complex rules, uh, which uh, find, uh, for example, here I find uh, all the uh, emails which are in directory but not having the, the tag of, of this directory. That means that I removed tag uh, for uh, this email and uh, if uh, such thing happens, uh, just move this file to all directory. That means that, for example, if I have uh, inbox, 
here you can see um, the rule uh, for inbox uh, it will uh, do the following thing it will take uh, email which currently in inbox directory but doesn't have inbox uh, tag because I removed it probably and I will move it to uh, all uh, mails directory and uh, it will make synchronization between my local mailbox and remote mailbox uh, very uh, precise. Uh, I will have uh, the same thing on my device, on remote server and probably on my other devices if uh, I will fetch uh, those uh, emails. Uh, have I tried Mu and Mu4E? Uh, yes, I tried. Uh, actually, not much is uh, and Mu uh, very similar. Um, they use uh, even some uh, technology inside uh, for the same technology inside uh, for indexing emails. Uh, but what I don't uh, like uh, about uh, Mew, it uh, doesn't allow allow to make uh, this flexible uh, tech system uh, to be used and. Uh, I don't quite like folders. I use them because I have them on my remote server and don't want to break uh, some other devices that use uh, th that rely on uh, that structure of the f those folders. Uh, for me, using text is much more flexible uh, and more powerful. Uh, and I will demonstrate how I create workflows with text a little later. Yeah, uh, Zepian uh, database. Uh, okay. Also, uh, if I take uh, emails with trash or spam, uh, it will go to trash folder and sp spam folder. Uh, and if there is a deleted flag, uh, it will delete actual message from my local uh, mailbox. And when I l l launch uh, synchronization, uh, it will remove uh, it on remote server too. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, uh, we discussed uh, two hooks. Uh, and one last thing is about fetching uh, mailing lists. I will just uh, take a look at L2MD config file. It's very simple and it will just say that mm, use this URL and uh, place all the emails from this mirror to this directory. And uh, after that uh, I can just launch uh, L2MD and it will f fetch uh, new emails from mailing list uh, and place them in my uh, mailbox. Cool, now I have all the emails and let's process them. Uh, first of all, when you open not much interface, you see a uh, few things here, maybe less than I have, uh, but it's called saved search. Uh, searches. Uh, you can see that I have few custom uh, search that not uh, a part of not not much by default, but it's not uh, really hard to configure it. Uh, and maybe later I will explain how to do it. But for now, let's just take a look at what I already have. Uh, here, what uh, we are interested in is uh, work inbox directory, uh, because I have few ema emails here that I need to pro process. My vol uh, workflow is following. I have uh, mails coming in my inbox. Uh, I mark them as uh, to-do and remove from inbox directory and uh, after that uh, when I processed all inbox uh, emails I have an empty inbox and a uh, few uh, emails in to-do that I really need to process with more uh, precision with, with the precision uh, and uh, that's the first workflow that I use uh, and after I processed uh, uh, 
email more precisely, I can remove to do tag and uh, I finished with this email. Hi, Nuno. Uh, let's jump into work inbox. Uh, for that, I will use uh, JKey. Uh, it's accepts one uh, letter. Uh, for some reason, it's a, a little misaligned, but I need a capital W to go into work inbox. Uh, it will show all the mails which has work tag and inbox tag. Uh, tags are placed right here. And uh, as you saw earlier, my uh, post new hook uh, adds work tag for my work email, uh, email emails and uh, personal tag uh, for my uh, personal emails. And also, uh, as you can see here, uh, it has a few more uh, flags and one of them on red uh, is actually can be transferred via IMAP. That means if I read email here, uh, it will uh, will be the status of uh, reading of this email will be synchronized with uh, remote server. But if I add uh, other text, they won't be synchronized and will be available only on my local machine. And uh, to synchronize those uh, texts between my different machines is a separate task that we won't be covering today. And uh, here you can see uh, three out of 13 emails. Uh, that means that we have three new emails and uh, we can open it as just like that and we, we uh, will uh, get the uh, f first unread email but we also can use uh, alt enter to see the whole tree of the conver conversation and uh, it's much more uh, visually pleasant uh, and easier to understand what is going on here and uh, we can navigate between emails using uh, N and P uh, keys. As you can see, few of emails are gray and few of emails uh, light blue and uh, those emails which are light blue is unread, was unread uh, actually, uh, but already uh, the tag is removed because uh, I went through all those emails. Uh, and I jumping uh, between only uh, those emails, but I actually can uh, go to this email uh, if I really want it. Uh, but it, it is handy to go s through new emails uh, because I already read and even replied to previous emails and I don't want to read them in most cases. Uh, okay, here uh, I read uh, this email and see that uh, s some important information uh, present here. I would like to uh, say that I want to process uh, this email further. I will add a to-do tag and uh, you can see here this email got a to-do tag and I can uh, quit from uh, this view. and. Uh, I, uh, now I have three out of 13 emails uh, in my work inbox and all of them are read uh, and I processed all of them and uh, I don't need them anymore in my inbox and I will place minus inbox tag uh, right here using minus sign and just clicking enter and you can see the tag inbox disappeared. Good, I update my uh, inbox and they're gone. Cool. Now I don't have work inbox anymore because I processed all the emails in my inbox. Now uh, it was previously one to do item. Uh, now I have two to the items and I will take a look uh, just uh, in a moment. Uh, let's take uh, first to few more options that we have here. Uh, we can jump not only to predefined search uh, but we can also uh, click uh, S uh, to get a prompt for not much uh, search and we can make uh, any possible uh, search here. For example, tag work and uh, tag inbox. And we get uh, empty results because uh, we already processed our work inbox. Uh, but we also can uh, do a search uh, by 
just a tag. Uh, for example, uh, by clicking T, it will prompt for the tag that we want to use. And after that, uh, we can click enter and we'll got all the emails uh, which uh, filtered by this tag. Uh, tag. And uh, if, for example, I want to see only emails that I already uh, read, uh, I mean, uh, if I don't want to see uh, emails that I already uh, uh, saw and want to see only new emails, I can uh, additionally uh, filter this uh, amount of emails using L key. I will type L key and uh, it will prompt for filter search. And here I will uh, say I want to see only emails which uh, have tag unread. And as you can see, now I have only unread emails. Cool. Uh, it's how you can uh, combine search capabilities of not much to get very flexible uh, representation uh, of what we can call virtual folders. You just combine some search uh, queries and getting uh, the necessary subset uh, and actually the search capabilities of uh, not much and Zepian is very, uh, I would say very cool uh, and allows to do almost everything, uh, filtering by uh, dates, uh, matching by uh, uh, phrases, not exact phrases, but something very uh, similar to this phrase will be also uh, found and uh, to know more about uh, search capabilities of not much you can take a look at uh, manual of not much it's pretty uh, easy uh, to read and you will learn it in a few uh, minutes or hours cool uh, we talked about searches uh, let's uh, go uh, and process our to do items i type j to jump and t for to do and see all the emails already read here and uh, I need to process them. Uh, previously we saw it was uh, three out of 13 and now we have only one out of 13 because I marked only one email with to do. And here you can see the uh, structure of our conversation uh, and only one item has to do tag here. And uh, having this item, I can reply uh, to it, but uh, I will do it uh, a little Okay, let, let, let's start replying. Uh, I type uh, capital R to reply all and it will automatically make uh, replying email which contains all necessary headers. Uh, most important one is uh, to uh, CC uh, and in reply to. In reply to allows to make this uh, thread structure uh, be possible and to present it to the user uh, to make it clear how the conversation is going. Uh, for example, uh, here I replied to Ludovic and Ludovic replied to me. Also, Shin Lu replied to Ludovic uh, on a separate uh, branch and after that I replied to uh, Shin Lu and also uh, another guy to reply to Shin Lu and uh, I replied to this guy. Uh, Leo replied to me and so on. Uh, okay, let's uh, answer to Joshua. Uh, he says that he already have uh, some home services, uh, services, some uh, services defined for Sway and uh, I will uh, start typing some uh, message. And after that, I understand that I don't have uh, much time right now to uh, uh, answer this message. I will uh, save it and uh, will leave it as it is. Uh, I save it with uh, basic Emacs hotcase and close the buffer. Uh, oop. And uh, that's it. Now I don't... Uh, I've not replied yet to uh, Joshua, but I have few uh, items appeared here in the thread. And as you can see, every time I saved message, uh, new draft appeared. And uh, 
only uh, the last draft not uh, have deleted tag. Uh, that is, it is done because uh, uh, not much doesn't modify the content of already created uh, files. That means that uh, on every save uh, we create new draft and uh, not much is uh, smart enough that uh, it uh, marks old drafts that not actual anymore with deleted uh, flag automatically. And uh, the real uh, message that we want uh, to work later will be this one. Uh, which is the latest version of the draft. But if you want the earlier uh, drafts, they also available. We can take a look at them. Uh, they very similar to what we have here. Uh, cool. And after I will run my uh, not, not much uh, new uh, command, it will remove those deleted drafts. Uh, and uh, I will be able to continue uh, work with uh, without this clutter. Actually, I can place deleted uh, tag in uh, not much configuration uh, to ignore it, not to show it in any searches, uh, to make the uh, structure, the results of search much clearer. Uh, cool question. How not much support multiple accounts? Uh, I sa said earlier that I have a special rule uh, that uh, I already uh, that I already uh, presented here uh, somewhere. Let me find it. This one. Uh, this rule says if uh, we have tag new and pass uh, is equal to pass uh, mail account uh, user, uh, as you saw earlier, the mail directory structure uh, have my emails. Uh, have folders for all my email accounts. And uh, if email is inside uh, directory, for example, uh, andrew at trop.in, and it has tag new, uh, it will add tag uh, work to it. Because uh, I have uh, special code which generates this rule, uh, but uh, at the end it will look like uh, not much tag plus work minus minus pass Andrew drop in any directory and tag new. That's how it will look. Uh, and it will make all the uh, messages coming to this folder uh, to be tagged with work tag. And it allows me uh, to separate my personal emails from work emails. That is why it is possible to make uh, inbox uh, folder which contains all the emails also from my personal accounts and my work inbox which contains only emails from my work inbox. And uh, it's basically it. Uh, the simple but very uh, cool solution for using multiple accounts in not much. Let's go to our to-do. Uh, we looked at uh, draft capabilities. Uh, now we take a look at uh, possibility to send email uh, without replying to someone. For that, I just uh, type M uh, button and uh, it will create a buffer which contains few headers which uh, partially, uh, partially empty. And uh, for example, if I want to uh, write a message to Ludovic, 
uh, I will start typing Ludovic and it will uh, show me all possible options uh, or maybe to uh, myself uh, or some other Andrew. Uh, I will start uh, typing Andrew uh, and it will show all the uh, addresses for from uh, my emails, previous emails. <laughs> oh my god, so simple. In mu 4 e you have to set up contexts. Yes, uh, that is why I say text is very flexible and a very cool uh, tool uh, and allows to make a very complex workflow uh, to be pretty easy. I will show another cool workflow uh, for mailing lists uh, just a little later. Remind me if I forget to do it. Yes, the idea is to uh, tag emails for different accounts with different uh, tags uh, work, uh, as uh, I made uh, in my example. I have uh, two uh, tags, work and personal, uh, but you can have as much uh, tags uh, as you want uh, and as many accounts as you want and just make different tags for them. Uh, Cool. Uh, to send email, I just uh, type something in to field, in subject field, and something in the body. Also, if I want to add a signature, I just uh, type ML uh, sign, uh, let's say uh, PG mime. Oops, PG mime. Oops. And uh, this comment will uh, add a special placeholder to your message. And when you will be sending uh, your email, it will ask you for uh, your uh, GPG key or uh, will not ask if uh, you have some default key uh, already and it's clear which key to use. And your message will be signed with your GPG key and uh, every uh, every person who read your e email uh, will be able to check if this email was signed with your key. Also, you can do the same thing, but uh, to uh, but uh, encrypt the message. If uh, you have a, a recipient uh, public key, uh, you can uh, click this uh, comment uh, and uh, when you will be se sending this message, uh, it will uh, encrypt this message and only recipient with his private key will be able to read this email, which is uh, very cool. And uh, here in uh, my Let's close this buffer. Uh, let's search for tag uh, signed. I can uh, open uh, some email and see that it has a signature and it says that signature is good because I have uh, public key of Shinlu in my uh, GPG K ring and uh, not much automatically checks if uh, this signature is good. How does the mile completion uh, work in two field? Uh, actually, it is a company mod and uh, not much provides a backend for it. Uh, and it uh, just reads all the emails from your inbox uh, and see all the uh, to and uh, from fields and just provide you with after completion uh, for the two field. But also you can uh, add a support for uh, some database where you store your contacts and it will additionally provide you with completion for contacts uh, that may be not present uh, in your previous email threads uh, and will complete it uh, too. I didn't configure it yet, but uh, maybe later 
uh, I will do it because sometimes it makes sense uh, to get email address from uh, some contact list that uh, is not uh, in my email folder yet. Okay, we talked about uh, signatures and uh, encryption. Now let's uh, go to one more interesting uh, feature uh, called uh, one more interesting workflow, uh, which is a watching workflow. Uh, I have uh, mailing lists and uh, I would, would like to search mailing list for uh, for example, I want risk uh, related topics and uh, tag list. And you can see all the uh, emails about risk uh, topics in my uh, mailing list. In mailing list uh, I uh, track. And uh, here I have I have something interesting that I want uh, to track uh, later, uh, but I don't want to check every time uh, all the emails that uh, are present in the search. Uh, I can do a very uh, cool trick. I can uh, mark uh, this thread. Let's let's take uh, a look. For example, porting uh, gigs to risk five. Uh, I can tag. this uh, thread with uh, watch tag. Here you can see uh, the watch tag appeared here. And I have few unread uh, emails here. Uh, and after that, it's appeared uh, six new emails in watching uh, saved search. And now I go to watching uh, saved search and see all the uh, emails that uh, related to this thread but not read uh, yet. And uh, I will read, for example, this email and uh, this email. But uh, I don't have uh, too much time to read all the thread and I will stop it. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, now I have three out of six emails uh, which not uh, yet read. And if uh, I uh, take a look at uh, untreaded, uh, if I will use untreaded view, uh, you will see three more emails not read yet in this search. Uh, and if new unread emails appears in mailing list, uh, they will appear in this uh, search. That means that I can mark different threads that I'm interested in with watch tag and later uh, to see all the new uh, messages uh, for this thread in watching uh, saved search. Uh, and uh, actually I will show you the implementation of such workflow and you will see how simple it is to do such uh, interesting workflows with uh, just a few texts. <laughs> I guess friendship ended with you. Not much is my new friend. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, actually, uh, you can try not much. It uh, has some rough edges, uh, edges because it's a pretty old software and uh, you need to tweak it a little uh, before it uh, starts wo works uh, well. But uh, when you get it, uh, it's very powerful uh, tool and I really enjoy it. I didn't use GNU, uh, but it also has some Notion of folders as far as I know. And it's also very complex uh, tool and not uh, the best performance wise. That is why I decided to go with snappy and relatively simple, uh, not much. And I'm quite happy with this choice. Maybe later I will change my mind, but for now I'm quite satisfied. Uh, okay, uh, I wanted to show you how I do this uh, watching workflow. And uh, let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, 
uh, do I have something here uh, related to watching watch uh, yep saved workflow looks like uh, this one I find uh, all the threads which has uh, at least one watch tag. That means I can uh, mark any email of the thread with watch tag and uh, I will be uh, able to get the new emails from this thread in watching uh, saved uh, search. That's pretty much it. Uh, the whole thing uh, with watching workflow is just uh, that simple search. I search for all threads which has at least one watch tag inside and uh, I get all the unread mails from this thread. That's all. Also I have uh, a slightly, slightly uh, modified way to put uh, a watch tag. Uh, let's search for it. I have following function uh, which place watch tag on the first message of the thread. Why I do it? Uh, because I don't want to place watch tag on a ra random message uh, in the thread. I want uh, to put it on the root message of the thread because I think it's uh, a cleaner solution. Uh, and that's not necessary, but also uh, quite interesting how simple it is to use uh, the power of Emacs and Elisp language uh, to get such workflow. But uh, if you don't want to uh, mess with uh, Elisp, uh, it's enough to just use this fancy search. Yep, any questions so far? Actually, I prepared a few more things uh, related to mailing list and working uh, with uh, patches. Actually, uh, I uh, even prepared a commit uh, for gigs uh, that I wanted to send as a patch, but uh, we already talking for an hour and I think that we need to stop right here and we'll continue a little later. Uh, maybe in next stream or maybe uh, some other stream in the future. But we can discuss some uh, development workflow using mailing lists, how to send patches, how to get patches and apply them on local repositories. And everything uh, will be done from inside Emacs without jumping around uh, in your browser or my client or somewhere else. You just open the max, work on your repository, uh, get the patch from someone uh, in your Emacs, apply it and so on. Very convenient and destruction free. And also uh, what is very cool, it works completely offline. You got your emails uh, locally and after that you don't uh, have to have any connection to continue work on your software project and interact with other developers. You can do it uh, in offline, you write uh, your emails, you apply patches, review patches, uh, and after you have uh, network again, you just send uh, updates, uh, you send review to the patches, uh, you push uh, new commits to the repository, uh, and uh, patches applied from other contributors, and uh, everything works uh, very uh, good, because if you uh, travel a lot or you have bad coverage or some other conditions uh, you still can work and you don't lose any information which in most uh, modern workflows uh, very uh, tied uh, up with your uh, git uh, repository provider because it provides you some tools for review which available only uh, on their websites and you can uh, do review without visit visiting their websites and so on. Uh, 
Few more questions. First one. It was elisp and scheme in the same file. Yes, it is. It was both elisp and scheme uh, because uh, I maintain and uh, develop RD project, which is uh, a configuration from framework on top of Geeks Home and Geeks System, uh, and it is written in scheme, uh, in Guile to be more precise. And uh, I generate my Emacs configuration using the scheme language. Uh, and that is why you saw Elisp inside scheme. Uh, what is my time zone? My time zone is uh, UTC minus uh, three. It's Moscow. Yep, any other questions? Uh, okay, as I said, uh, we take a look at how mails uh, works in general, uh, how you can use different simple tools and combine them to get your offline mail workflow uh, set up and running. Uh, later, if uh, people are interesting, uh, interested, we can take uh, about development workflows using mailing lists, uh, patches and so on. Also, we can take uh, a look at integration between different uh, tools like uh, org mod and not much and maybe some uh, other things uh, and uh, also we can uh, talk about uh, configuration uh, and uh, different aspects of your email setup okay thank you very much for your attention i hope you enjoyed the stream and glad you joined see you next time Bye.